This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFP. My name is Paul and as I, I am as always your gracious host and this is the 22nd episode on the 29th of January 2017 and I'm joined by probably one of the best English speaking stand up comedians in Austria. Very specific. It is Jack Holmes. Hi Jack, welcome to the podcast, man. Hey, thank you very much for having me. Oh, it's 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 been fun, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, a little By bit. By the of... way, being the best English speaking comedian in Austria is like being the tallest person in a room with four people. <laughs> <laughs> the really... data doesn't really. Yeah, there's it's, not it's... enough data points to make it a valid. Uh, yeah, exactly. A valid uh, <laughs> statement. Being one of yeah. the best was like a 50-50 chance. <laughs> Well, one in three. One in three. <laughs> one in three. We I, all know the three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thank you for being here. Um, and we watched. I forget the name. What was it? Uh, what keeps parents up at night? Part two. Well, it's no. It's oh. it's actually that's the the tagline. What ah. keeps uh, parents awake at night? It is a uh, school Schulmädchen Report zwei, which school, school report school girl report school girl report. School re school girl report two, um, and uh, yeah, we we it's from 1971. It's made in Germany, but it is directed and written by an Austrian, so we feel comfortable enough to have it on our podcast. Well, Especially okay, because yeah. it is also very was very influential in Austria as well because it was a German speaking movie. Yeah. So um, just tell us. Uh, Like okay, first of all, first, <laughs> this movie you were you were because I didn't tell you anything before that no. you didn't know where, what you got yourself into. <laughs> it's like I said, it was like the time my dad made me watch Deliverance. And didn't <laughs> didn't warn me about yeah. the squirrel piggy scene. I was like 14 <laughs> years old. Going, what the fuck is this? And he was just in the corner of the room dying with laughter. <laughs> he thought that was the funniest thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a prank, bro. Just a prank. <laughs> Don't taste me, bro. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah, it's 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 roof stoof. Roof stuff? Yeah, rough, oh, that... stu rough stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The roof stuff. <laughs> it's roof stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. It is because it is actually, uh, it falls under the, the, the umbrella of the educational, uh, sex educational movies officially, but in reality, it's just a porn, right? <laughs> What was educational about that? I, like, right, well, I've don't had... do drugs. Oh, well, yeah, don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she wasn't. She was really a victim in that scene. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll get no, exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, this wasn't educational because I've had sex when I was 15, 16, 17. Ooh, and it was, player. Yeah. <laughs> it was nothing like that. None of us knew what we were doing. You weren't like gently caressing a woman's breast the first time you touched <laughs> it. You were basically like punching it <laughs> with excitement. Yeah. That so, was oh, my God. What is happening? Yeah. It's just, There's a real boob in front of me. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember sex being anything like that. Well, I, mean, it was I wasn't the 70s. a school girl, and yeah. and not and not hot and not from the 70s. Yeah, all of these things. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it falls under the umbrella. And just to divulge that information to you, I split up the episode with Reggie into two parts. Yeah. Because of another reason, because Reggie was like, "Ooh, you should have Jack on." And let's let's uh, you should watch a really hardcore gay porn. <laughs> That motherfucker. <laughs> he's got we get naked together in one hotel room, and now he's got this whole fucking. Oh. <laughs> you get some, some real inside information, dear listeners here. <laughs> oh, I'm doing a show with Reggie tonight. I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna fucking destroy him on stage. It's not really a gay porno because I couldn't find a properly translated German <laughs> gay porn. I love that that was the biggest problem. I found like, the gay porn. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> <laughs> Pun uh, intended. Not uh, intended. 
Um, <laughs> but I love that, like, yeah. you felt the plot would be so important in a gay porn film from yeah. the 70s that you wouldn't put it on if you couldn't get good subtitles. Also, another thing, I put uh, a GoPro behind the, the uh, oh, plant there. Frick. Yeah, and I recorded you. So um, I'm gonna look through it, and if there's some like a good moment of you reacting to yeah, it, yeah. because you said at some point um, I hate you so much, or I could go fuck yourself. Something yeah, yeah, along I was those very lines. angry at you during that film. <laughs> oh, I, I was. I won't say it on on the microphone. Oh, it's, it's fine. It's, there, it's, no, but yeah. there is uh, one particular outburst I had. I would like you to not put on the internet. Okay, I feel like yes, that's gonna yes. cause problems in my family. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but thank you again for being <laughs> fucking dick <laughs> you absolute asshole maybe you there's said, maybe I there's, thought I was gonna watch look, a nice little documentary <laughs> about parents fucking freaking out because they found oregano in their kids sock drawer yeah <laughs> <laughs> It's just like in the first scene, it's like, oh, cool, some little bit of lesbian sex. This might be racy. And then you just showed me a video <laughs> of 14 year old girls getting fingered for an hour and a half and didn't tell me you were filming my reaction. Do you know how close Again, I was to getting all an erection of, in parts all of that of podcast? You don't, don't hate the player, hate the game. Yeah, but and the game was made up by Reggie in the end. Oh, Reggie told you to. No, no, that was my idea. But that, I, I, I talked to him about it and he thought it was a really good idea oh i'm mad at reggie i'm <laughs> mad at you but i'm mad at reggie <laughs> and mad at yourself <laughs> yeah, maybe because i fell for it yeah. like a chump <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on let's keep this rolling okay. man uh let's move on to a first uh point of this and that's uh, it's gonna be a sh very short or very long <laughs> uh, depending on how how how, uh, how we present it and that's Plot. Was there a plot? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be precise, there were, I think, ten plots. Yes. <laughs> because it's just short stories uh, inter intertwined with um, interviews and weird, uh, like a really nice guy asking weird questions. Yeah, just... <laughs> Walking up to 12 year old girls in the street and saying, Does porn excite you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, she was 15 and a half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and now it's a, a and typical it, fucking Oscar. No, it, she's 15, it's fine. <laughs> 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 but yeah. Mm. So, um, yeah, we there were 10 different plots. We have. It's basically 10 different scenarios that are supposed to be real. Yeah. Because they they got they got after the first movie came out they got what 1600 Oh that I yeah I had a note about that. They were like <laughs> we were forced to do it by an <laughs> overwhelming public demand. We got 1600 letters. That's a box. <laughs> That's a Box, box you would it, that would be so insignificant you wouldn't also, even throw it out of the office. Yeah, like, and, and you have to remember this was pre-internet, so letters were basically the only way. Yeah. So a thousand six hundred letters is not a lot of you know like what, in a YouTube video that gets five million views and only has a thousand six hundred commentaries. Bad YouTube video. You know who all 1,600 of those letters came from, right? Because <laughs> right? in the 70s, as you said, you couldn't readily get porn. So that dates back to the, the time where you would have to, like, send off and order a porn mag over a yeah, through yeah. post. Right. So that 1,600 letters came from uh, married men <laughs> who found a way to cheat the system and order porn via mail without their wife catching them. Ah. Yes, sir, we have a daughter. It's about education. No, yeah. it's not. <laughs> I'm on to you, Manfred. <laughs> Manfred? Who's Manfred? I don't know. It's the uh, first Austrian name. I, I've got a good friend called Manfred as well. <laughs> He's going to take that personally. So, yeah, there are 10 different acts. They all... They are all different, basically, stories. Yeah. In the end, they... Uh, they're also all pretty much the same, same yeah, story. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's all... Well, mm, mm, they're... Like in in eighty percent, you could actually enjoy what you're watching. <laughs> you could, but in ten ten percent, like twenty percent of the scenarios, like two out of ten, I think yeah. it was 
like the oh, first I got one. Three. I, oh, I you got three. three yeah. Okay, which was which were the three? Well, the the. The first Should we address one? what we're talking about first? Oh, or? yes, please, please. Uh, well, okay. Basically, it was a porn compilation film that every now and then would just subtly interject a rape scene and try and catch you off by getting aroused in it. it was yeah, like, I, I, I caught you now. It was... Ugh. Yeah, but... Okay, yep. so the first one was obviously, like, the, the heroin mattress thing. Oh, yeah, that was the top one, I think. Yeah, and then the second one came... That was it. It was uh, Young young charming guitar playing boy oh and I, yeah and you were saying oh don't worry they've already had the dark scene i'm sure there's not yeah. gonna be another yeah. one and then as soon as you said that he <laughs> raped the girl who didn't want to have sex with him yeah and then and she was totally cool with it oh for yeah, some yeah, reason. yeah afterwards it was all fine and then the, <laughs> the, that was just the writer being in a corner and he's like Oh, how do I solve this? Ah, fuck it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's and fine. And she liked it. Don't yeah. sue me. And then the third one was. Um, the taxi driver who worked for the dumbest taxi company in the world as well. Um, oh yeah, that, that, that who, cabbie, that cabbie who got yeah, wood. Who got? Yeah, he got stripped naked so women could draw him and then got embarrassed. Draw him is an exaggeration. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. were doodling him. Do, yeah, they were just doodling <laughs> him like on the back of a match. And then box. they were doodling his doodle. Yeah, yeah, that was it. He got an erection, got embarrassed, and then all women went in to fuck him. Yeah, and four. he said no. <laughs> yeah. he said no. Don't do that. It hurts. And yeah. then, they, and they, then they raped him. Yeah, and then he was fine with it and yeah. sent for three other guys. That's it. Which is part of why he works for the dumbest taxi company <laughs> yeah. in the world. I need help for personal reasons send free men okay <laughs> god that film sucked <laughs> oh I thought you were quite entertained I was but it's <laughs> in a horrifying manner yeah um, yeah, so, so yeah, there were three gnarly scenes. Well, the cabbie... I, I'm, you, I'm, you didn't feel bad for him because it was a guy and it was so much funnier than, like, oh, the no, two really the dark The music scenes. alone in oh, that scene yeah. <laughs> made it like it's a, it's a Ren and Stimpy bit yeah, or that was something. Yeah, I feel like Alf was going to walk into the room <laughs> at one point. <laughs> German Eif. Yeah. Eif. <laughs> the Deu I'm, I'm Rudolf. Rudolf. <laughs> I'm the German uh, Eif. Uh, I'm, I'm an alien life form, but uh, I'm very well educated. And uh <laughs> Okay, I assume that's what German Alf sounds like. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm basically the fish from uh, 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 American Dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so describing the the, the the scene by scene doesn't make real sense because we're stuck here for I think one and a half hours. Yeah. But but there were like that's that's the plot doesn't know where it wants to go. It goes on a roller coaster because there are really funny moments. Then there's 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 really gruesome stuff. The next scene yeah. basically like again the the the, the heroin. Or whatever it was, they never said yeah. what kind well, of no, drug they, it was. It wasn't heroin, they drugged her drinks. That was it. They trick her into thinking she's taking heroin, but she's been roofied. No, 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 no. It was strong alcoholic drinks that were really sweet, so you couldn't taste the alcohol. Ah, okay. And after that, they faked taking it themselves yeah. and then drugged her. Oh, okay. That's right. why the ketchup was on the arm. <laughs> That was the fakest looking blood ever. Like clumps and, and you everything. Could, you could still see the Heinz bottle in the corner yeah. of the shot. <laughs> like the, the, the <laughs> Like the, the, the director assistant like in the background with yeah. the bottle, like, oh shit, where where's the <laughs> ah, fuck the were footage there. ants crawling towards it. It looked so sweet. <laughs> yeah, so that was that was pretty pretty hardcore. Like yeah. they, they, they then then they, they showed the barn scene where where you had like the 14 sweet year old girl getting fingered yeah and yeah. The, the other girl getting fucked yeah and it was all fine and then you had domestic well not domestic child abuse because the cop beat the little boy oh yeah he started spanking the boy and that's no no he hit him in the face in the Did first scene oh the yeah first the first scene. scene yeah yeah because they saw a girl peeing yeah and he's like fuck you guy and just punched him yeah, the kid's him. on the swing and he's yeah like, <laughs> And that was no acting. That was just, like, I'm going to hit a kid now on screen. You know, the kid got the line wrong. or yeah. right? It was never pee-pee. He just thought he was being funny. And yeah. the professional actor was like, you prick. Yeah. And the director was like, fuck it, I'm not reshooting it. The yeah. kid's crying. We'll just put it in. Yeah. 
it's it makes it more raunchy yeah, yeah, yeah. and real. It's raw, man. It's edgy. Well, again, in the seventies, beating kids wasn't that unusual. So, no. eh. but still, okay. just as hilarious. Yeah, because the, the policeman is on a bicycle at the same time. Yeah, that was, that was the last time you saw a cop on a bike. <laughs> well, in the U.S., in Miami, and stuff like that, they really? have, they have, yeah, they have bike cops in Austria I don't think anymore they they they, it's, it's they all have they are, like the worst thing we have are uh, segways no there are segway cops here yeah I haven't seen I've been here for like, seven years I maybe seen I, I have seen like two okay. in my whole life here so maybe they got rid of them again yeah, after again, two cops died what's, like what's this fucking like segway <laughs> thing gonna do if you see a, a robbery <laughs> And like you gotta chase someone down a high street, you're gonna have to get off your Segway and start running. Yeah, because yeah. you can run faster than the Segway. Maybe the Segway, had, the police version, has an overdrive function. Maybe, into, <laughs> and then the police that man it's, dies it's, because yeah, he cr- cr- crashes into a tram it, or something. You go downhill, like I don't know much about aerodynamics, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to get off. To yeah. chase the criminal, and then in the meantime, his partner steals the Segway because that was what the heist was really about. Yeah, those th- things are fucking expensive. Yeah, you can buy like four used cars for one. <laughs> so and you can fit four times as many cops in the <laughs> yeah, car exactly. as you can on the yeah. Segway. Yeah, the Segway is really stupid. Yeah, I'm a glad that idea died out. <laughs> okay, so we had that really stupid cop in there. Um, something else that um, oh, the forest fucking scene. Oh yeah, that that one was fucking hilarious. Oh, that poor that kid. Was, that was a comedy moment of gold. I no, the worst thing is like every as that scene continued, I was like, I'm that kid. I'm that, <laughs> really? And everything that happened yeah, to him was yeah. more like your oh, worst nightmare. That's me. Oh. That's, that's that's definitely me. Like when he got the girl to the forest to fuck her, and then he was like. Oh, should we go see a movie instead? Yeah. Uh, he's already panicking. Yeah. He's in the forest and he can't get an erection. And then yeah. he's fucking just too dumb to realize he's being robbed, robbed as he stands there singing, There's a man in the red. A little man. In the forest. Es steht ein kleines Männchen im Walde. Ganz still und stumm. Yeah. Yeah, it's an, it's an old uh, German, Austrian. Yeah, okay. Child song, no, I, so. I couldn't laugh at that scene. <laughs> I just felt too sorry for it. <laughs> I found it found it hilarious that they could get away with the car because he drove it, so it well, was no, his, his car. They his stole his yeah, car. They stole his car and yeah. just left it. I'm I'm pretty sure his clothes as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's alone. That guy is gonna die. Yeah. He's alone, naked in the forest, and like then, a boar is gonna maul him to death. And as a final blow, she sticks her head out the window as the guy drives away in yeah. his car and shouts, Call me when you can get an erection. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the coldest wow. thing. Wow, I've yeah, that was sp- that was brutal. That poor kid. I wonder if my cut that out before you publish it. I'm not gonna cut anything oh, out. Oh, I can't share that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut around it. Thank Jesus you. Christ. Twenty-six. <laughs> Motherfucker. I do like minimal editing. Okay, so. that's fine. Like you, you give me one cut, that'll be <laughs> okay. Good. All right, yeah, you get one, you get one, <laughs> and that's you. it. <laughs> and then you're out. Um, yeah, well, well, yeah. Then we have we have the, the the first the first act where the the teacher kills himself. Oh, that poor guy. Yeah, yeah he gets blackmailed for sex from the ki- from the students who really apparently like him. Yeah. But they think he's too shy, so they blackmail blackmail him into sex. It's. And then he kills himself. Yeah. Because he, knows he gets like over. PTSD flashbacks during his class. That oh he thinks, yeah, and he started like going crazy and imagining yeah. the things they were saying. It's like yeah. he's never gonna give a good grade to anyone again, or like no, bad grade. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, that would be hilarious. You yeah. only get sixes now. Yeah. <laughs> he just failed the whole class. Yeah. <laughs> Screw you! Show the pictures. I'm proud of them. You're hot as shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's a general theme. The girls look all basically. They all have very small variations in their body type yeah they all basically look the same (laughs) like the casting director definitely had a thing for a certain type of woman he had a thing for wigs as well so it could have been just the same three girls and wigs there's two different wig scenes yeah 
and the teacher doesn't get it. That oh, they... that's something I want to bring up. So there was this one scene where, like, there's a teacher, like... In the classroom. At, yeah, he's in the classroom, and he's looking at a porn mag, and his students walk in, yeah. and he starts thinking... Are, are my students these girls wearing wigs? <laughs> and he goes, "No, nah, that's silly. Um, this is a but, Swedish catalog. Yeah, yeah, they no, can't be in a Swedish catalog." But in the first scene where this happens, the girls just start walking in, and he just carries on looking at his porn mag like he wasn't <laughs> embarrassed to be caught with it. Yeah. And like, how is that not a muscle reflex? And, like you're looking at porn and someone and he's in the smoking room, a like, cigar at the same time. Yeah, it's like cigar. I don't know if, if teachers smoked in the classroom in the seventies. I like, think I don't know. I think there was still in, that indoor doesn't smoking me as much as the the, the, the porn mag. Like that, like ripping the porn mag or like changing. Maybe he's the, the sex ed window. teacher. Even still, that's not like that wasn't. A it's fucking diagram. That was an, <laughs> a, an art piece. Yeah. Which brings up another point I wanted to make about mm-hmm. this film. How fucking stupid did, did the director think women really are? Because <laughs> in like nine of these scenes, it's just like a fucking old pervert walking up to a young girl saying, Hey, come and take your clothes off. Yeah. And she's like, No, nah, I don't want to do that. And he's like, no, oh, come I on. No, I don't. I won't sexualize you. Oh, okay then. And then her clothes were off, and he's like, no. And then pawn. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it was the fucking most. I don't want to like go on a feminist tirade, but it was just the most patron. Like, let's take the porn and the rape out of it. It was just the most patronizing. Like, women are stupid. Yes. And you can easily yes. trick them into sex. Like the like, runaway girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> who went from. Being accidental prostitutes, basically, yeah. to uh, hippie lovers, yeah. to, I don't know, just remorseful girls. Well, it was just like every scene was like a woman who, or half the scenes were just like a woman who didn't want to have sex. And then like the guy would get naked and she was like, yeah. well, what, what can okay. I do now? I've yeah. got to, like he's yeah. naked, it's Yeah, there's problem. a penis now there. Yeah, like, like, I can't say no. <laughs> Yeah, it's the realism is definitely there. Yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> and um, um, and then we have for the last act to so close up plot, I think, because we could talk for this for another hour. Yeah. I think um, the last is a happy ending, basically that well, leads that into nothing. Why there wasn't a plot? Because <laughs> the whole film, like the, the way it starts <laughs> off, with the guy was like. These are women who are here to speak about the promiscuous behavior of young schoolgirls because we're going to come to a conclusion about today's youth. Yeah. And like, he's, he's like they're setting this whole thing up. Yeah. And then the film just ends on like a... Well, Patronizing uh, speech. Yeah. Well, it was just like a girl got pregnant and her parents were mad. And then in the next scene, they accepted it and yeah. everything was beautiful. And she just yep. walked off into the sunset with her friends and yep. the, the film just finished. Yep. <laughs> no conclusion to what they were trying to do and they just ended Best the thing, most fade out yeah just a fade out and then not even a credit roll well, nothing. I, I imagine yeah, it, it, the credits were probably just cut off like hopefully well, yeah hopefully it was just where oh the and the t- theme song played again yeah and the theme which was <laughs> awesome so uh, yeah, yeah like, you can't blame the, yeah, yeah. but the theme I mean, song I, I, was I, I, also very happy and it was just like that was it was making it out to be like a real serious film. Yes. And it was just like, no, nah, this, this was porn. This yeah. was, I saw, I, and I know I've said it and I'll keep saying it. It was just porn. <laughs> it has a very schizophrenic mind to it. Yeah. Let's, let's say that. <laughs> I, I think... Like you enjoy this porn? Ooh, I got you. It's a rape scene. Yeah. Oh, that was... They tricked you. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you get aroused by that hot girl. Zing! <laughs> just a prank, bro. Ugh. Again, this was a YouTube prank just in a movie. It fucking was, because you fucking <laughs> filmed my reaction, you prick. <laughs> Maybe the camera didn't pick it up. I let's hope see. Not. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's move oh, on. I'm going to kill Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's move on to the next point, and that is... Cinematography! Yeah, let's talk about the cinematography. And how... Did you notice how many long, awkward shots there Oh, were? yeah. It would just... And it lingers. Yeah, it would just be like... It's a, a creep. Sh- a, yeah, a close-up of creep a girl's vision. tits for like 45 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> and, was, even, and even in the first scene, that was the best thing when the, the, the schoolgirls fell into the classroom. 
Oh, and you just the, see him trying to not be a pervert from yeah, his own vision. Yes, and he's just like yes, looking at one girl's leg, yes, at one yes. girl's chest, and he's there. You can tell he's thinking, "Don't look, don't look." Oh, and then no. he looks down. And yeah. <laughs> Oh, but that whole class was so mean to him. They <laughs> like, I were. know he's not innocent in this, but it was yeah. just like... Oh, uh, it was just like you're trapped in a dream and a nightmare at the same time. Yeah. It was just yeah. like a whole schoolgirl class. It was class especially was like, grueling for me because I'm studying to become a high school teacher. <laughs> and for me it was that, like, please, please don't be like that. I, I can promise please. you, you will never be the teacher that the girls are trying to fuck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you called me ugly in this already. Like, <laughs> you with me. Oh yeah, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> it's, it's, a, hey, it's, a, it's, a, it's an even playing field. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got, you've got the accent. I've got the equipment. Yes. <laughs> and I mean the podcasting equipment before anyone tries to make a dick joke out of that. <laughs> Please make dick jokes out of it. Um, yeah, it lingered a lot. Some of the lighting in the scenes was really weird. Yeah. Like, had a lot like how are you, you guys hanging your lamps in that room? Like, there's like a really <laughs> bright spot on the wall and it's dark all around it. Like, who... Who's, who's building a building like that? Or putting up lamps like that? Yeah. <laughs> Super inefficient. I mean, it's it's it was nice to see, like, some of the more realistic as- aspects of sex represented. Like, totally. Like, you said, like, the, the awkward undressing scenes. Yes. There were one too many to sort of, like, slip the whole dress off in your butt naked. Yeah. But they would also, like, show a girl getting undressed for, like, 45 um, seconds. Yeah, Which, totally. it goes back into the creepy lingering. But yes. But it's just, like... Like, nice to remember, oh, good, I'm not the only person in the world who is fumbly during sex. Like, yes, yes, and also the, the awkward uh, 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 first time having missionary-style sex with the gliding motion yeah, that yeah. doesn't really do anything. <laughs> like, you're basically rubbing your dick now against her belly button. Yeah, this yeah, is exactly. this is This is helping nobody. <laughs> Like this is they 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 showed that kind of in a like they they of course they did like porn vision yeah but they also did like the this camera sometimes did a good job at showing you just yeah what normal sex is like basically it, I mean like I'm still not gonna go ahead and say normal sex because yes. like I said like. It's a bit of an ex- exaggeration. No, no 16 year old girl I ever had sex. With. There hasn't been any, <laughs> just for the record. <laughs> and I was 16 at the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes me. I, it was crossing between a very narrow bridge between two relationships. Ah, it was, it, okay. It, it wasn't like that was a thing or anything. <laughs> um, yeah, all the, the sex I had at 16 looked nothing like that. Nope. <laughs> and the girls didn't look nothing like that because those were. 19 or 21 year old yeah, yeah, actresses oh well, yeah that was it they were all old enough to be naked on camera yes so. yes no no this movie is totally legal yeah. this is not an illegal we movie we just yet. say she's 14 it's fine yeah exactly <laughs> like that like that it's not creepy yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is that is true it is quite uh, it is again schizophrenic in a way yeah yeah <laughs> that's not even the correct term anymore is it not? No. Okay. Yeah. What's the correct term now? Um, um, multiple uh, personality disorder. disorder. I oh, think. Okay. I think. Um, again, I'm, I don't have a PhD or anything, so I. No, okay. I, 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 I mean, it's I not can't. a word I use often, so like it's. I, I feel <laughs> like I don't need to master that today because I've been yes. walking around saying something horrendous for the last <laughs> two years. So. In total, again, the cinematography, sometimes it does its job well, sometimes yeah. it's weird. I mean, it was... It's just, hilarious, too, sometimes. It was a 70s film. Like, oh, yes, it, it yes. It looked totally, like a film Yeah, from the shot on maybe 18 or 12 millimeter film, like a yeah, smaller format. <laughs> no, it, because, like, when you go up to 20 or yeah. 30, that's, like, proper film equipment. Oh, okay. And everything beneath that is because again, film was very expensive back then. Really? Yeah. So shooting that was a shoot, high budget sh- film. Shooting well, not like this was the budget movie option back then. Shooting on a smaller film. Oh, oh! You don't mean this film? You mean making a film? In general, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 okay. yes, yes. So in the seventies, um, shooting on film again expensive. Like the, there's this milestone where um, in Hollywood films when they go through a million feet of film, yeah, 
in one movie that's like a record and there are only a few films that did that because it was like Stanley Kubrick's films did that all the time yeah, basically yeah. because he was an obsessive maniac Oh, and so it was just like take after take after yes, take after yeah. take after take. Yeah, and okay. there was like so much material. And there are only like a, like two or three comedies, I think, that ever got over a million wow. meter, uh, feet, feet. Yeah. So again, film is really expensive. So shooting on a smaller format and also doing it, I think it was like a weird thing between 4x3 and 16 to 9. Like it was a weird intermediary format they, they shot on. Okay. No, because it didn't fill out the 16x9 screen. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like it was just like a really boxy sometimes. Yeah, it's, I'm I'm a complete know nothing when it comes to like and they switch and and, like and they switch between cameras. Like you saw black bars sometimes, yeah. and sometimes it filled out the whole screen. So they switch between camera and formats as well, which is good in the sense that you can show when you normally when you're showing four by three, people automatically assume TV show or documentary. Yeah. And 16 by 9 is the cinematic or 221 to 100. Those are the cinematic okay. widescreen right. formats. And uh, that's like the cinematic thing. So switching between the two is good. But this movie, I think a few times, just used the 4x3 camera for the normal scenes as well. Yeah. And and that is like, that, that just took me out of it. Like, I'm like, ah, come on, guys. This is... <laughs> See, this is why... You're just I, a cheap fuck in that case. I got nervous at the start of this when you sat me down and told me I had a work assignment during the film and you gave me all these categories and yeah. it made me write my name and date at the top of the page. <laughs> like, like a school still assignment. In school, yeah. yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like I, I don't know anything about plot cinematography and I got no eye or like brain for this. And I was like... <laughs> I can try and look. Look, they they have the black dot that, that, that was in like yeah, yeah. that Green Day video. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you, oh, you they changed went, film. They changed. That's yeah. the that's the marking to uh, switch reels cut, yeah. reels in the cinema. Yeah, it's um, yeah. I I've got no real eye for this, <laughs> and like just listen to you like nerd. I was like, oh yeah, well, they changed the camera here, and then they filled out the screen. <laughs> oh man, I'm not smart enough for this. Yeah, they, Look, there has to be some use. I'm not that funny, so I have <laughs> I have you to be funny here and me to be nerdy, basically. You need to make better decisions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I made a quite good decision to, okay. to bring you here. I think we and we think I think we both are thoroughly entertained. You know, want another swig? I we do. are drinking, by the way, Jameson whiskey now. Yeah. Um, the most drinkable whiskey. It is my the most drinkable whiskey. I. I that was uh, a thing about starting to like get into my mid twenties. Is like yeah. I'm accepting now that I don't like whiskey. <laughs> I've been trying to be a like cheers. So cheers. I've been yeah. trying to be the whiskey guy for like the last eight years, and this this year I was like, well, I, I am like the whiskey. It. I'm yeah. the whiskey guy. No, I don't get me yeah. wrong. I enjoy whiskey, but when you get into all the real like intense whiskey guys, stuff, oh yeah, like, like the Talisker good, Sky, or, Talisker I can still enjoy, but it's yeah, just it's, like, but the Talisker Sky Blue is already really smoky. Yeah, and not a lot of people enjoy that. Like, yeah. I love it with a cigar. See, I, I can't be dealing with cigars either. But it's just like, I don't have, like, the palate to, like, appreciate, like... Uh, the the nuances. Like, yeah, the yeah, nuances, exactly. yeah. It's just like, Jameson's is just drinkable, and I like it. It's, it's again, it's 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 basically the Coca-Cola of, of whiskey. Yeah. Everybody I'm trying to get a, a sponsorship from Jameson's. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Let's, yeah. let's try it again. I did a... I was so, Jameson. A, yeah, um, Jameson's. I, got, yeah. I have got a Jameson story to tell. Like, All right, yeah. I was, uh, I was doing a gig once. I, like, we love tangents here, so... Okay, yeah. that's okay. Yeah, yeah, so... That so, wasn't sarcastic. No, no. The <laughs> game was like, oh, again, we Reggie, love tangents. Again, Re Reggie, two hours. Yeah. Just, okay. just saying, yeah. No, so I, I'm, a, I'm a musician as well, and I was doing a gig... Brag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, if you've heard my music, <laughs> I, I, I was don't. Doing, yeah, I'll I'll send you a link later. It's not good though. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna share buy it. my album. By the way, um, is I it was, on vinyl? No, yeah, I, so I, I wanted to release it on vinyl, but no one was willing to pay it. Like, ah, I had to okay. release the album myself, and yeah. I was like two grand down because of it already. Oh like, yeah, no, nah, no vinyl this time. Yeah, hopefully my next one. Oh anyway, yeah, so I was, yeah, I noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, right next to the GoPro, you prick. <laughs> I hit it. <laughs> I um, I was doing a gig, uh, an acoustic show. Yeah. And uh, I didn't realize, like, 
I got to the bar and I said, hey, can I get a Jameson's and ginger ale? And they said, just so you know, Jameson's is sponsoring tonight's event and they're sending down two rep girls to give away free Jameson's at the nice. door. Nice. I was like, oh, it's great. And I was speaking to the girls throughout the night because I was bored, they were bored. And they were like, oh, you're the guy playing. I was like, yeah. yeah. And they said, oh, you can have all the Jameson's you want then. Sweet. Yeah. So I get on stage absolutely levered. Like I am just You're like, slammer. Yeah, I'm slammered. Like I'm, <laughs> like I'm used to playing in that condition, but it's like it's, right. it's never good. <laughs> and so I was just going like in between songs, just drunk and rambling about how awesome it was. Give it up for the Jamesons girls. Woo! Because they packed up the stand and like come yep. in to watch the show by this point. Right. And then one of them like shouts, "If you say Jamesons five times on stage, we'll give you a free bottle." Ooh. And I, I think they're joking, but. Yep. I was like ah fuck it I'm gonna do it and like yeah. I think they were expecting me to like weave it in really subtly uh, nope. I just screamed Jameson's at the top of my voice five times in a row <laughs> started playing the song and then halfway through the next song they come up to me with a bottle of Jameson's nice yeah that's pretty sweet uh, 0 0.7 uh, full bottle 0 0.7 nice. full bottle brand new yeah. wow that's yeah. pretty sweet deal man the bar banned me from ever playing again because in the excitement of the moment I opened the bottle unscrewed it drank it and then passed it into the crowd <laughs> <laughs> like you're screwing us out of like I don't know 60 shots right now basically yeah they were like, <laughs> they've never booked me again <laughs> Anyway, sorry, where yeah. were we? Yes, so we were just closing up cinematography yeah. and moving on to the next subject and that's sound. Oh, good, the sound. <laughs> Let's talk about how that was the weirdest soundtrack I have ever heard in a porn film in my life. <laughs> Cause, like, it's even weird for 1970s porn. Yeah, well, because that was like the invention of the wah wah, like porn music. I think that's where that cliche comes from. Yeah, you yeah. never hear it. It's all like soft techno in a porn film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, like, yeah, yeah, but really, so, like that's like in all the, the female friendly videos I watch. They put it's got like really soft techno and it's like <laughs> the lighting is amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. No, you, you need <laughs> to this, soften up once in a this while. This doesn't. This doesn't exist here. This oh, is. Yeah. It starts out with bongo drums and an electric organ. And I love the organ as well. I think that's one of the coolest sounding instruments. Yeah. So when that's how I was like, I'm gonna put, like. There's already been a lesbian sex scene, and yes. now like and now there's an organ in it. I'm gonna enjoy this film. <laughs> and then seven seconds later, I hated you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. You, you you don't know how it fulfills my heart how well this whole thing pulled off. Because you could have looked into my face and looked a little bit up and then you would have seen the GoPro. Well, I didn't have time to look at you. I felt like I was being so rude when we were recording that. Like, when we were watching the film yeah. even. Because I wanted to like... I didn't realize how serious of an operation this was, so yeah. I got here a little bit fucked up. <laughs> For <laughs> your fine. benefit. Oh, like, that's I fine. That's I, fine. I thought we were just going to watch the film and record it and like talk about it as it was happening. So I was like, I'm going to drink a beer on the way there just so I'm a little bit more myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I didn't realize it was going to be like, we sit down, we watch the film, we take notes, and then we talk about it. So I was like, oh, fuck, he really takes this seriously. I want to do a good job. So I was writing, <laughs> writing, and writing, because the film was fucking subtitled, because I can't speak German. And like, every time I looked down, I like I would you miss missed something yeah. important. I was like, really? Like, uh, 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 important. <laughs> God forbid you miss a fucking scene in a porn film. You don't know also, where you are five Also, later. next to the music, basically all the dialogue is ADR. I don't know what that means. It's uh, recorded in a booth afterwards. Oh, right. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, the, like, those breathy the, orgasms. And, were the, just, and the like, lips weren't synchronous to the sounds yeah, or anything. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like... Mur, 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 mur. Yeah. Sorry, one more thing I want to say about please, the music please. and like another piece of evidence. That's your, that's your thing. Yeah. Like, go ahead, please. Like, one more piece of evidence is how this film is definitely a porn film. <laughs> like, even that, that taxi driver thing. Yeah. Even started off as like yes. the classic, like, hey, I'm a man of trade knocking on the door. And yeah, oh, look, like you're the pizza guy, dress. basically. But yeah, it's just like, oh, however are we going to pay for this pizza? We don't have any money. Come in whilst we think of a solution. Yeah. And, and it was just like that. He doesn't even have the pizza. It's yeah, no, just but, a cabbie. No, but it was, he was just a cabbie. And he was like, where would you ladies like to go? 
how many taxi drivers have you ever had that have walked into so, your yeah. house? Nope. Not even like a step through the nope. door, like into the living room. 70s and said, cabbies, maybe? No, it's just like, so that was it. That was just like classic, like, here's a man of trade. Yeah. We've, he's come into the house to ask a ridiculous question. Yes. Like the pizza guy's like, how are you ladies going to pay for this? Yeah, and, like, yeah, oh. yeah. and then he opens the pizza <laughs> and like his cock was the sausage. It was a metaphor. And it's the, very deep. And but, <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> no, it's not. It's totally not. <laughs> but then, and maybe then, he yeah, was. They all, they all start fucking him. Like they get him yeah. naked and they they start fucking him. Yeah. Just un- unexplainably. And the music <laughs> is hilarious. Yeah, it, it was basically like for every sex scene, it might as well have just been. Yeah. And there'll be like the dad chasing the sexual predator in and out of like the cupboard. That I would have enjoyed that in that like, movie. I should have been involved in this project. It yes. Made it way well, better. again, seventy one. So, yeah. <laughs> not, Still. not 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 even pre cum. Well, at that point, <laughs> no. I don't even think my dad was making pre cum at that point. Uh, see, well, no, he would have been eleven. Like, it could, uh, it could yeah, have. yeah, totally. Uh, yeah. We're not As we know my, from that movie, I've already used my one cut, so that one's got to stay in there. So we're not talking <laughs> any deeper about that. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, Dad. <laughs> Um, is he gonna listen to this probably my parents are irritatingly supportive of oh nice career. yes <laughs> yes <laughs> supportive like, parents yeah fist bump yeah mine too yeah, yeah. you can tell because it's the really supportive parents always spawn kids who never quite get their lives together yeah. it's always just like, <laughs> they, I've asked my dad as a grown adult in like just like two years ago I was like dad do you ever worry about where I'm going with my life because I'm, like, yeah. I'm an English comedian in Vienna. I'm like <laughs> hoping that's what's going to keep me in the country after yeah. Brexit. It's let's like see I if can, it happens. Yeah, let's see if it happens. But like, I'm hoping like to get my like if I ever need a visa to stay here, I hope that's what it's going to be from. And I'm like I'm trying to be an English comedian in Vienna. Do you ever worry about my life? It's like no, nah, you'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Be a dad. Shout <laughs> at me. Tell me to get my shit in. Like I loved. Oh my god. Look how oh yeah. I got no, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. You you're gonna blow out some years with that. Probably. <laughs> I love my parents, but they're just they're too damn supportive. They're yeah. too nice. Yeah. It's a Same little thing. bit more friction. Same thing. I might work harder to prove them wrong. Yeah. They should just once in their life say, Jack, I don't think this is for you. You. I'm like I, I'll be again, selling I out did, arenas I the did, next year. I did semi-successfully stand up cabaret yeah. and 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 uh, uh, improv theater uh, for like ten years, and my parents are like the worst thing that ever happened was like my mom was like um, you have to finish school, but uh, if you really want to pursue this, you're gonna have to do it like a hundred and ten percent, and I'm like okay, yeah, and she's like. Yeah, you can still be a bank clerk if it doesn't work out because you have your education. And I'm like, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> no, but that's... And that was the hardest thing they ever laid on me. See, that was like, I didn't even have that. I went to a music college and my parents Ooh, were proud of it. It was nice. it's not like... Hey, a... wait, I studied Japanese for four semesters. Yeah, but at least that's a language. Oh, that's yeah. Like, right. <laughs> you know, like knowing a language hey. is like having a skill. That's hey. like, yeah. I, I assume that's the whole entire Japanese language. Basically, they're all about. Oh, we have two hundred and sixteen characters in our alphabet. <laughs> nah, you only say one word. Yeah. <laughs> well, the kanjis there are like uh, two thousand, I think, for regular speech, and then you have the hiragana and katakana, which are the basically like uh, like our letter system, just in it's always pairs. Yeah, and then you have. Uh, Romanji, which is just uh, our letter system, so okay. they have four ways. Different alphabets. Yes, that's. I still have to if I like if that. I need that to, like, annoyed the fuck out of me. If I need to do something like with knowledge of the alphabet as a twenty-six-year-old grown adult, I still have to go A B C D <laughs> up until I hit the fucking one yep, I yep, need, yep, yep. and then, even then I have to double check. <laughs> <laughs> They have four alphabets with yeah. this, like... Yep. We've got, like, nine letters in the English yeah. alphabet. But but the fun thing is there's now some English words that made it into the... Like, the fun thing is uh, German words made it into the uh, Japanese language in the 18th century. Yeah. Like, they, they have... I think they have rucksack. They, like, everybody else, apparently. Yeah. Why that German word made it everywhere, I don't know. We had to give them something. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Then, then there was uh, there's meseru, a knife, uh, but it's uh, for scalpel because German uh, um, um, 
Um, uh, no, no, German surgeons trained basically the first Japanese surgeons. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So Messeru, like, like a lot of medical equipment is still German words in Japanese. Okay. Yeah, and stuff like that. So, but they also have English words like Hamburger. Is that ham- how you say hamburger? In yeah, Japanese? hamburger. That's amazing. Hamburger. Well, I really want to go to Japan at some point in my life. <laughs> I would start eating meat again, and then I got to order <laughs> a hamburger. Japanese, a hamburger. <laughs> English people are such dicks. We <laughs> fucking forced our language on the entire world. We just stuck our heels in the ground so hard. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, re- Sorry. going back regarding <laughs> to the sound, it was very German. They all spoke very German, German, except for the Bavarians. Yeah. Oh, and those, I guess this is a sound point if we're talking about the way people are speaking. Yes. That, that first girl who seduced her teacher. Well, like, oh, I, yeah. lo- I loved how German the sex was in this in terms of like organization. Yes. And like, I wrote down the exact... Now you have to do this and uh, touch this with yeah. this. And now we are going to do this. You enjoying this? I, yes, this is the best. I know I wrote down the exact quote she said, but like I oh. did, did, this is just like the fucking ramblings of a crazy person (laughs) so I can't remember I might be paraphrasing but she told her teacher have me several times yes and there could not not, be any don't have me only once have me several times yes several (laughs) could there be any less romantic or like sexually enticing ways to say that like (laughs) if I have to I have to write it down in a, in a mathematical formula yeah. to explain to you how many times I want you to bang me. That, that's what the girl <laughs> in court at the end of the film who was being asked how many times she'd had sex with yes. the guy, she just said, she just said several. And then they were, she, oh, we understand. No, no, she, the, 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 her defendant, her lawyer said 20, 30, 40, and she's like, Maybe 40 times. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, maybe 40 and what of it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and fuck you, man. 40 more. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There was, there was, for a film that was so like unbelievably sexist, there were so many like real cool moments of genuine like feminine, like fuck you. Attitude. Yeah, the, the, the slapping of the, 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 the teacher. Oh, that was, let's talk about that. <laughs> like a girl gets caught cool passing notes in class. And, uh, like, wait, we, I think we're going to use this for our next segment and that's... Okay. Best moment. Oh, I didn't write m- much down on that because I loved... All of the films. <laughs> <laughs> All of the clips? Yeah, but I, I've, yeah. I've got things to say about most of that film. Yeah, but right, so we'll for, save that for, for best for, 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 uh, Like, in my opinion, there were several strong moments in this movie. Yeah, there were a few. But I'm not sure if it's because a lot of it was so underwhelming that um, basically like an average piece stands out as being amazing. Oh yeah, don't get me wrong. If I watched that with my housemates and they... They thought I might have enjoyed it even a smidgen. Like, I would have <laughs> had like, my ass kicked. <laughs> and rightfully so. It's always like contextually, it's so much easier to watch a film like that with like another white straight dude. Because it's just, we, we don't understand how fucked up who, it who, really is. Wait, who says that I'm straight? Well, okay, I don't know, but you were like yeah. making out with a female for like 80% of that film. Hey, so. hey, 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 <laughs> that's an exaggeration. And I deplore it. But also, yeah, pretty sweet. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, I assumed you're straight. Is that... Can I... No, no, I'm not. That? I'm not. You're not? No. Okay, sorry, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. But now now I feel like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, right, but, but nonetheless, like, white male is, yeah. is enough. Like, we can watch that film and just, like, <laughs> it's just like, oh, yeah, oh, it's I also mean, like, some very... of it's fucked up. But, like, yeah, they, a woman said, I can have sex with whoever I want and I'm not ashamed. Yeah. And we were both doing, like, yeah, fan power. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's a assholes. scene where, where, where the, where the te- so the, te- the moment I was talking about was because it just popped into my mind. There's so- several moments I actually want to choose for best moment, but yeah. I'm just going with the flaw here. And that's... The teacher sees that somebody passes a note to the to the first row girl and she puts it into her bra and he's like I can't take it from you because it's no, as a teacher I, I can't but I, as a man I can. Yeah. Which rhymes in English which is amazing. It does. And he just reaches into her chest and pulls out a note yeah, yeah. and then you 
And and then she, uh, I don't know. It was, as, exact as, as a student, I can't do this, but as a woman, woman I can. And, and she then slaps him across the face. In also, the probably class. not acting. <laughs> well, I mean, just, I'm, sure, I'm sure it was scripted, but I'm sure yeah. she did slap him. Yes, <laughs> yes, because that was amazing. That was a hardcore slap. Yeah. I, I, I That's really, what I like about German films. They don't pansy around. They're yeah, like no, we, we don't punches. Yeah, like, no, nah, we'll, we'll we'll we don't fuck around. Yeah. <laughs> Realism. <laughs> yeah, so that was mine. What 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 what's your best moment? It's hard to say. Which which would you like? As a YouTube clip, would you share with friends? I think it would be that one. I really? Think that, that was okay. just like, in a whole film where like women were just, just being fucking made to look like such idiots. And then, like, <laughs> that, like, there's one of the few like moments of like real like, and fuck you yeah. for that bullshit. Yeah. Well, actually one, one other thing I really... I thought was cool was um, when they started doing the street interviews with like the elder oh, German yeah. women yes. and they were asking what do you think about the morals of today's youth do you think they're corrupted or however yeah. they phrase it and they're like nah times change yeah. like yeah. they weren't doing anything we weren't doing it's fine yeah. and I was like, oh, that, that's not why I was expecting that segment to be like they, yeah. like, they really they, pulled it out yeah. there <laughs> oh I see what you did there yeah. that, that was thank funny you. <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> I say write that one down so you don't forget it, but you're apparently a fan of writing stuff down. <laughs> yeah, I have three pages. <laughs> I do too, but like my writing got really large, bigger. Like, as it went oh, that's totally a phenomenon too with with, with people. Okay. So I, I still uh, you're gonna continue to to talk about that scene because I still have to think about the secret category. <laughs> oh wait, you haven't thought about the secret category yet? No, oh, you asshole. I what? have two, but I have to choose one. Just give me like 15 seconds. Just talk oh, yeah, about absolutely. your best moment, about the interviews again. Uh, I don't. Like, like, <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. The German women said it was cool that younger German women were having sex. Like, I don't really know what else can I say about it. Stop looking at me and think of the secret category, asshole. I'm not. Oh, then I only have a listeners. finite amount of words. Fuck your listeners if they're fucking 52 minutes into this and they're still listening to this bullshit. Get a job, hippie! God damn it, why? This is an Austrian podcast and you've just listened to me fucking ramble on nonsensically for 52 minutes. Yep. What is wrong with your life? Actually, uh, Your second, parents are more supportive second, than mine are. Second, <laughs> second largest viewership, US. And then it's Mexico and then it's Germany, I think. Mexico, right now. Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, maybe I would like love to go from to 1944, so some people who fled to Mexico maybe. and they're still <laughs> listening to podcasts about Austrian and German movies. I mean, if any Mexicans are listening to this and they have ties to either a punk rock club or a comedy club, I would love to come to Mexico. So ah, yeah. I might have a hookup for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I don't see cool. anything cool, cool. anything wrong with the idea of me going. Like to our number to one fan ass. is from Mexico. Really? Okay. Yeah. Hey, dude. No, lady, but yes. Uh, sorry. Hey, what's her name? Josephine. Josephine. Hey, here's to you. <laughs> yeah, she she will actually enjoy this one. I'm making myself sound like such a fucking caveman in this podcast. <laughs> I was trying. I was like, I'm gonna bring up feminism in this because fuck this film. And I'm just like. <laughs> I've just made myself look like such a fucking backwards asshole since we started. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Now, now, now I know what 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 what, what we're gonna do. Uh, um, take your time. Yeah, you, yeah. God knows you didn't have any time to prepare this. So <laughs> I was busy. If it makes you feel any better, I, I, I mentioned to you I was uh, recording vocals for my next album, which will be out this year, available on jackhawks.org. Plugs are at the end of the podcast. Fuck you, I'll plug when I want, motherfucker. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> oh. Come on. <laughs> hey, I was trying to ease your fucking unprofessionalism here. Okay. I was saying, like, so, I, I was so recording vocals for my album this It week, actually you know? falls back into what we're going to do in the secret segment. Okay. So. And that... Thus a sexy German speak. And, um... What? Thus a sexy German speak. Because in the movie... You mean do sexy German speak or... Not not you. Oh. Not, not, das is just general. The, the, oh, the, das. Oh, sorry. I thought yeah. you were talking in English. I thought you said <laughs> this is sexy German speak. I was like, what? Like, do they? I das. Das German sexy speak. 
Okay. Sprech. Sprech. <laughs> Yeah, so... So does that because, mean does German sound sexy, or...? No, the, the, the thing... Of, I'm going to explain the category, okay. because there's so many sexual innuendo jokes in this one. Yeah. Like, the double on entend- There are triple entendres in there. Yeah? Oh, like, like that science scene at the start of the film with the teacher. Like, they begin himself. with yeah. it. Like, minute one, they yeah. have, like, a wire, electricity, friction, penis joke in there that has, like... Like, the layering of that alone was amazing. Yeah. And the whole class was in on the joke as yes. well. That poor fucking teacher. Yes, man. like, he got razzed hard. Yeah. Like, the pre- preparation they had to do to, to make that work and they had to know that that experiment came up that day yeah. to make it work in that f- amazing amazing when was the last time you were able to get 20 16 year olds to agree on anything as well every <laughs> girl in that class was like yeah we all know we're fucking this guy over yeah. and I, <laughs> I couldn't get two of my mates to agree on whether we ordered from Pizza Hut or Domino's. It yes, was like, yes, like, yes. How the hell did you orchestrate that? Like, can, <laughs> grad, fuck you for, like, ruining it's the It's a German life, organization but, skills, yeah. Yeah, that was like, it's like, I want you to have me several times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so what was your, because that was definitely mine. The wire scene was the, fucking hilarious. The in, so are we talking about the innuendo level? Or yes, just, okay. yes, what was... The innuendo... <laughs> that, no, that was the only real. I thought that was no, no. I it was it. all the way through. You think? Yeah, no. I, because some of the subtitles simplified because you couldn't. They spoke so fast ah, that you couldn't okay. read the whole stuff. And there was a bunch. Okay, so you take the wire scene. All right, I'll take the, the wire, wire scene. scene. Tell me about your favorite. Um, okay, let, let let me just go through through this. Uh, hilarious. Huh? Oh yeah, the ball cancer thing. Yeah, in the second act. Oh, where he's like, my balls are hard. Right? Yes. <laughs> Dude, man, fucking, like, congratulations, because if you ever get kicked in the nuts, you're coming out of the winning end of that fight. But, yeah. like, other than that, consult yeah. a medical professional. Because she was grabbing his dick first, mentioned it was hard, grabbed his balls, and they were hard too. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is bad. I, this is, you do, you I, should go to a doctor I've immediately. Had them, I've had them firm up a little bit before, but, like, just yeah, if it's hard. freezing out there, but it was in, a, in the summertime in a barn. Yeah. Like, it's <laughs> fucking hot in a barn at that time you don't get hay fever out of nowhere yeah yeah oh by the way those guys definitely got hay fever <laughs> oh i see what you did there, they had the fever and they were in hay so. <laughs> oh that was a fucking that was a brilliant moment yeah. where like they started like a girl lost her virginity in the barn yeah and she said it's so thin and the guy was like that's hay here's my penis and oh, yeah. oh! <laughs> See, again. Fucking film, man. <laughs> and the worst thing is, as angry as I am about it, I'm probably still going to jerk off the parts of that. <laughs> there are some best off scenes. It's, it's, sometimes it's uploaded on the internet as a whole thing. You can get the DVD box with all the movies. I'm not... <laughs> or the th- first 13 or something yeah, like I, that like, I gave up trying to watch the Nightmare on Elm Street series like, <laughs> they've got like 15 parts of this confusing making me angry porn I'm not I'm not checking you're not out. into that nah. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't to the girls yeah, I'm not saying that there weren't like aesthetically pleasing things for the eye in this film. I, I actually, I actually, the, the, the girl that I enjoyed the most, I think, was in the the second photography girl. Oh, the one who was like, "Fuck you! I'm gonna show you I'm sexier yeah. than my friend." Yes, because that was she a relatively dia- short scene, though. Like. Yeah, but she was diametrically speaking, definitely sexier. S- than her girlfriend. See, I was never that good at math, so I can't analyze a girl diametrically speaking, but <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Like, Thank I'm not you. a smart guy. But <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I've I'm, always tended to go with instinct on <laughs> issues like that. You're booze smart. <laughs> I'm booze smart. <laughs> like, you, you basically retain the same level of intelligence it, it, no but, matter how much you drink. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I get really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm smarter when I'm drunk. When I'm <laughs> yeah, that everybody thinks that they are smarter <laughs> when they're drunk. It's if they are smarter when they're drunk, yeah. because there are some people who are actually more intelligent when they are drunk. 
like they have philosophical moments and yeah. stuff like that. But let's move on. We're, we're already an hour into this podcast. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's not do a Reggie. Okay. I think that's not a verb that I can use for this podcast. It's a wor- verb a lot of girls can use as well. <laughs> yeah. <this point. laughs> Just saying that he's an attentive lover, apparently. <laughs> And that it's long, pulling a Reggie. No, no one said it's long, pulling a Reggie. <laughs> no, it's for the podcast it is. Oh, oh, okay, I thought you were talking about his sexual performance. Oh, I don't know. I, no, neither, neither do I. Yeah. <laughs> you, only anecdotal stuff. Only anecdotal, and the time that we were naked together in a hotel room. Right. Together, taking naked pictures of each other. Ooh, sexy stuff. It really, it sounds a lot more erotic than it is, but, <laughs> but it also definitely happened. I have naked pictures of Reggie on my phone and vice versa. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> All right. So let's close We're up this. About Reginald Barris at Reginald Barris Comedy on Twitter. Yeah, let's <laughs> plug his stuff. Why not? Why not? Okay. So <laughs> let's move on to a, to a last bit of business, and that's final conclusion. Um, Would you <laughs> recom- recommend this movie to somebody else? Would you? watch it again or would you I'll watch, watch other parts i'll watch parts of it again. <laughs> i'm sure i'm going to watch parts of it again. okay all right um, all right would i recommend it, it would depend what my friend was asking me to recommend right yeah so elaborate i so if anyone said hey have you got any film elaborate uh film recommendations i'm not in a, a small one i've got a show to do today <laughs> that give me a normal one fuck it yeah that'll do um if <laughs> If someone said, hey, have you got any film recommendations just as a broad question, I'm not going to go, yeah, check out German Schoolgirls 2, tagline, what keeps parents up at night? Awake at night. Awake at night. Sorry. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck up. Me, 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 me. (laughs) Me, 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 me. I want to recommend that, but if someone said, hey, have you got a porn film where the plot is that they're trying to pretend that it's a documentary, and I'm... (laughs) <laughs> kind of get turned on by younger girls, but I want them to not be younger. It's so a mockumentary. FBI, it's a, a it's a porn mockumentary. Yeah. It's a pockumentary. You know, it's, it's a pockumentary. Spinal Tap completely ripped this film off. That has ruined <laughs> that movie for me. The Office, I thought, was a work of brilliance. Nope, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. They did it first. Yeah. The Germans were first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and also a final conclusion. I don't know why, but apparently every time you have sex in Germany, someone is watching you. <laughs> If that film is anything to go by, there is like, a, a, weirdly enough, like you you can be fingering a fourteen year old girl in a barn, right? And then an eight year old boy is watching it. Yeah. Who is then gonna get spanked by a sixty year old man? Uh, yeah, police officer, police. please. Uh, yeah, which like is the long unsinister. arm of the law. <laughs> let's let's not go down <laughs> the the pun road, please. To protect and serve. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the police offer your best friend next no, to no, your no, dog. We're not. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. I'd, so um, have I ever? I, no, I don't think I ever have had sex in Germany, which is good. Which... <laughs> the German sex, yeah. Oh, th- this is nothing. How like, fucking, it's, it's, like I had sex in German, and like this is yeah, definitely I nineteen. The story. <laughs> that's like nineteen seventies speak. Like yeah. uh, nobody uses those sexual innuendos or anything like that anymore. I would hope not. We're in the emoji age now. Get with the time. Yeah, people, yeah. Isn't? Hashtag a winky face. Yes. Hashtag winky face. Hey, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so you would recommend it under certain circumstances. If someone asked me specifically for a film that described exactly that yeah and i was indifferent to how i felt towards that person right. i might recommend it also just as an extra as a prank and as a oh, basically fuck you dude. victim victim of a prank again reggie's idea wait is there another prank that's about to be no 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 no, oh, no 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 okay. no i should have done that yeah. but i, I <laughs> I should have put a spider or something in there just to fuck with you oh, again. Dude, I live in a basement. Spiders don't <laughs> terrify me anymore. <laughs> and plus, I checked it out when you're in the bathroom. Uh, what kind of alcohol cameras. is here? But you've got a hit flask. That shows commitment. I like that. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, that's oh, for the sorry. movies normally. We're next to a globe bar. Just <laughs> <laughs> Classy. Yeah. Got it as a present. Um... <laughs> From Reggie, <laughs> no. the expert on class. Oh, that would. <laughs> 
Nice. Um, <laughs> uh, I hope Reggie is listening to this podcast. No, he's but... way too self-centered to listen to... Um, an hour and five minutes an of hour us. and five minutes of anyone that isn't him doing anything. All right. If he does, it would be... It would be quite fun to, to, to incorporate that because Re Reggie already said that he was going to go, go come back um, to do another episode. So, uh, yeah. Oh, to, to close up that point, would you recommend this as a prank movie to prank somebody else? Like, no, it's not hardcore enough for that. It's okay. Like it's... Um It would be a, it's like a if mild you want to prank fuck with a mate, yeah, but it's not a mild like prank. Yeah, it's not. There's no sense in making making a reaction video for YouTube, like when you show this to a, a friend. Mm -hmm. um, as a prank, probably. Well, not. maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> um, no, I, I don't think I I would recommend it as a prank. All right, no, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. I haven't offended you. Oh no, no, it's it's, it's cool. I, again, uh, for me, again with the with the sexual innuendo and everything, I would recommend this movie for German speakers in general, because it's definitely a period piece in its own right uh, way. Is it really like a cult classic? Like it that, is a cl cult classic, that, definitely. That it it, it started off the... like it started off like the the, the 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 German porn industry as a mainstay, basically. Yeah. Like, they made so much money <laughs> with this. No, again, you don't do 13 movies out of something if you're not expecting a return on investment. Yeah, well, porn's like the, one of the biggest industries in the world. Again, like, but it is the 70s. It is the 70s. Okay. Yeah, and I thought I put my phone on silent, so... You amateur hack. I'm a, I'm a hack, yeah. And it's an email. It's, it's worst kind of, not even something it's real. Not even exciting. Anymore, yeah, email. <laughs> like a dick pic or something. Yeah. But nope, nope. I've never sent a dick pic. Never received one, and I've never seen the point. Is that is the it, worst way oh, to advertise yourself as a man? No, no, it's not advertising. It's reminding for me. I I remind people of my penis. Like I already showed my sexual prowess, and then I'm like. You're Here's very, my dick again. Very confident in your performance. I feel like if I wanted to remind someone of what it's like to have sex with me, I would send them a picture of the breakfast I made them the morning. <laughs> that's the best possible fucking like. Oh yeah, that was I've, worth it. I have a fe feedback sheet that they fill out at the end, so I have uh, like like data. See, you're such a weird <laughs> Ramstein looking motherfucker. Ramstein like, looking motherfucker. This I, is the best description of me yet. I love it. Thank I don't mean you. like you look like you're in Ramstein. I mean like you, <laughs> you look like you listen to Ramstein. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We all live in America. Oh, yeah, let's take a moment to address the shirt you're wearing. You're basically just wearing an. A shirt that is a an American sleeves, flag. Sleeves cut off. Yes, but that's the thing. If you make that shirt, I feel like you might make more money if you already cut the sleeves off. <laughs> you know everyone who's buying an American shirt, uh, American so the, flag the, shirt, is going to cut the sleeves off. Yes, yes. The story behind it and is I got it. From like I got it. Small I got it from my American friend in Brooklyn in September when I stayed with him and I needed a shirt. And he gave me this one and he already cut off the sleeves as a joke because he was going to like a 4th of July party <laughs> as the most American American because his family is really liberal and that's why he wore oh, that. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Your friend's a genius. I yeah, 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 yeah. He was, he's, he's a fucking funny guy. And <laughs> hey, Mike, by the way, if you're listening. Yo, Mike. And, <laughs> and yeah, he, he gifted me that shirt. And I love it. Also, the fabric is really nice. It, again, feels like freedom. Varying yeah, freedom. You look like you're probably quite <laughs> ripped, motherfucker, so I'm not going to start rubbing your chest to feel the, the fabric of your American shirt. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm working on it. Again, uh, I wanted to shout out during your stand-up yesterday um, about the New Year's resolution. Keep in mind since the 7th. Of January. Uh, yeah. Okay. What's yeah. your resolution? Uh, yeah. No fiber. Uh, no, no, no fiber is stupid. No, no carbohydrates. Uh, no carbohydrates. Yeah. I, I, I feel like carbohydrates are the thing I need to cut out. Yeah. I, I, the only thing is like high alcohol percentage booze and fruit. Fruits? Yeah. Carby? Like, like bananas, orange, oh, apples okay, yeah. in a yogurt. I, I can see that. And milk. Yeah. 
That's the only carbohydrates. Oh, I've, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, I, I did it two years ago and I shaved off 13 kilograms in a, in like three, three and a half months. I've, I've thought about doing it just as like a real power binge, like giving up carbs or giving up yeah. gluten to yeah. something like that. Yeah. Something that I would hate someone if they told me they did. But just yeah. like, it's, I'm just doing it for a few months so I can get fat again. Yeah, it got, it got really bad. No, I kept off the weight. That's the thing. And now I want to try it again to see if I can ever get abs. Okay. Because I never seen my abs. <laughs> I want to s- oh, like that's check. The saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I want to check. I was really chubby as a kid, like, okay. re- and I got fat like two you years ago. You did not need to say I got fat and then shove your hand in my <laughs> direction. No, no, it was just like <laughs> this wasn't a reminder. For, you're, for any you're any of not the fat. At home, if you haven't heard the sound of my chin slapping together as my mouth moves. I'm rather a plump fellow, not obese. Well, technically chubby. obese, but yeah, chubby. But chubby. Like, yeah. A girl told Fun me. Chubby. A girl told me recently that she she's never been able to sleep in someone else's arms before, but she can with me because I'm Aww. comfortable enough. <laughs> That's cute, though. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. It was, it was a really no, sweet way of again, saying hey. Again, as a as a ni- when I was when I hit ninety kilograms. Yeah. I I um, like. The thing was not that the cuddling and ever, like that was all amazing. Yeah. Because there's so much to rub. That's it. You're coming yeah. like there's no bone that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's just, the it's just comfortable. The it's pee, just com- like. f- comfortable. But I started wheezing during sex, and I I had sleeping troubles. Like I got like I I snore normally a little bit, but when when I got really fat, I snored like a motherfucker. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Like like. I was thinking of myself, like I woke myself up with my own snoring. <laughs> my dad does that. And Sorry, dad, you're getting rough <laughs> on this podcast. Love no, you. No, no, you, you're treating him fairly. Like I, I, the thing is that uh, that's a thing I wanted to say just to close it up. Basically, was that my parents don't listen to this because their English isn't good enough. Do you do every episode in English? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. For this podcast, the prior to I did in German, and this one is in English. Okay, that that eases me a little bit about you yep. walking around Austria handing out pictures of an Austrian flag with FPU written on Again, it. Again, it's not an Austrian flag, not only because of copyright reasons, <laughs> but, but, also beca- but also because... Oh, it's, I see. It's, it's not an Austrian flag. Yeah, because the <laughs> mic picks up your fingers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, no it's, but the it's, GoPro it's, does shit, Ed. So. <laughs> it's, it's not an Austrian flag. It's not the Austrian button siegel, not the eagle, because he's. It's a parody. I I had to do that for legal reasons, basically. Okay. Yeah. So so and it's not the flag because the ratio of the bars is off. So it's it 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 should remind people of a certain image, but it's not the image. Yeah. Definitely. No, not. I get it. I, yeah. I get the whole. Uh, but people get oh, still no. very angry at it. Well, it's I mean, like, so funny. It's so funny though. It's like a little, little extra fun that I put into the whole thing. Yeah. And again, thanks for my brother for drawing the whole thing. Oh, your brother did it. Yeah, oh, yeah, cool. yeah. My brother does all the art for the for the podcast. Cool. Uh, shout out to my brother. Hey, uh, brother. Yeah. <laughs> You can find him on my website. Is the link to his plugs go at the end? Yes, it's the end. So, oh, cool. so let's do your plugs. I no, we, we can carry on talking. I don't. Know. <laughs> if you, you ask me to do my plugs, awesome. then everyone's gonna realize I've got nothing going on. But where can people find you? You have a website, yeah. probably, no, I, or you're on Facebook. I have jackholmes.org for my music, not for my comedy. I'm not that ridiculous, but um, that's down at the moment because the guy who uh, ran the server got hacked. So you can go. <laughs> You can go on to jackholmes.org, but there's just like, a little let, gif of Spider-Man let, dancing. Just think about somebody from the 70s listening to this episode and like my server got hacked and she's like, what? Like his, how does his, like there's an X inside his, his, yeah. his, 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 his I would imagine server. they would be as confused as I was in 2017 watching a film from the 70s <laughs> where 14 year old girls get fingered in a barn. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. Yeah. They had a blast. Apparently, a finger blast. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So the website. What well, else? Don't, don't go Do on website, Twitter like, unless you want to see Spider Man dancing. Uh, Twitter, but, I don't but have. For future I... reference, I'm gonna still put it in the description. Okay, so below. like, um, yeah, maybe by the time like someone listens to this, my album will be out, so the website will be back. But it's, right on. Uh, JackHolmes.org. Listen to um, his music. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. No, um, yeah, the new album I'm excited about. So that'll so, be out this yeah. year. That'll be good. Listen to that. Uh, other than that, the best best thing is Facebook. So if you just go www.facebook.com forward slash Jack Holmes Acoustic. Nice. Uh, That's I, a good pull. Yeah. I avoid Twitter because... I, I hope my career is never successful enough to the point where I need to have Twitter. I, I just got <laughs> Twitter for the podcast. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's it FFPOE would... underscore AUT. Because some dickhead already took FFPOE on Twitter. The bastards. Bastards, yeah. Is, is he a right winger? Nope, it's just some teenage guy from Upper Austria who posts about the FPO being sucky. Oh, okay. And no, it's fine yeah. what he's doing, but I'm, I'm like, I could use it more. <laughs> <laughs> this is worth more in my hands. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, at some point I'm probably gonna, you know, poach it from him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that kid. He doesn't know what value is of anything. Yeah. So he's probably not even in a handles academy. If you so. give me your Twitter handle... I will tell you the name of a really cool German porn film. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing if that worked. <laughs> Just give him a DVD. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Deal's a deal. It's on Amazon Prime for like eight bucks. <laughs> no, you can get the whole DVD set, I think, for 66 euros or something like that. Six, who's paying 66 euros for a DVD set? 13. 13 porn movies. That's not a bad value. Yeah, but like, who pays for porn in this day and age? Which, by the way, you should respect the girls' talent. Yes, but <laughs> and the guys. And the guys' talent. Come on. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm less sympathetic to the guys in, in the porn industry. Well, they, they, they can... They do a they... service. They have a hard job, but... Yeah. It's, <laughs> again, not a pun. Stop laughing at shit like that. Yeah, yeah, sure. No, <laughs> not, a, no, 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 not a pun. Sure, sure, sure. I, I don't deal with puns. I'm one of the best English-speaking comedians in Austria. <laughs> I'm above that. I, yeah. <laughs> In the German clouds, yeah. All right. Um, uh, yeah, yeah let's start dying fast. Yeah, yeah. We, we. I think we're good now okay. at one, 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 one eighteen or something like that. About that. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, thank you again for being here. No worries. Man. I hope you're gonna be back next time, not with a prank, but just a regular movie. Maybe. Yeah, that's what you would say if you were setting me up with a prank. <laughs> But I, I would rather enjoy a, a, a double billing, maybe that you're here. You're in, normally in Graz, right? Yeah, yeah. So people could find you there, maybe. Yeah, having, I, having I, something. I, run, I run shows in Graz. Again, just look me up at facebook.com. You're going to send me the YouTube. link and put, yeah. going to put it in the, in the, yeah. in the, in the description. Every, everything, that's the best place to go for everything I do. Okay, great. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I'm hoping I'm gonna have you back and you I enjoyed do, I would yourself. Love to come back, man! I really had a blast. <laughs> Without like the every pranks. podcaster I ever meet. When I first meet them, I'm like, I'm really not sure about this. <laughs> As I said, like you were a Ramstein listening looking motherfucker <laughs> who, t- who told a story about driving to Germany for anal sex. And then you- <laughs> And then, then you, then hey, you put that something. Was a, that, that was a good story. It was a good story, but all of that combined, and then you put something in my hand that looked like an Austrian flag that <laughs> had something right, Matt, written on it that looked like the title of a Nazi party. Yeah, so it, it was a little bit uneasy. But it like, takes some concentration to read this. Oh yeah, you and concentration. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I sat down and I was like, "This guy's cool. I enjoy this." Like, all right, cheers, mate. Cheers, man. Thank you very much yeah. for having me. And uh, guys, you should uh, do a double billing with me and Reggie. Oh, that would be amazing! Yeah. It's gonna be a three-hour podcast, <laughs> and we're all gonna be dead at the end because we drank four bottles of whiskey. Yeah, I, oh, that would be fun. <laughs> Can we please do that? <laughs> okay. Not that we, I ever want to encourage anyone. Because to we already Reggie. had drunk, we, we already had drunk episodes, but I really would enjoy a, a hardcore drunk a episode. Hammered episode. Hammered episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's how when me and Reggie ever attempt to podcast. That's MC Schlammer. <laughs> that's, that's my name. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, thank you guys for listening in. I hope you're back the next time. Um, I don't know who's the next guest, but it's going to be somebody great. Uh, thank you again for doing the, the episode with me. It was, me it, was, it was really fun. I enjoyed myself greatly. And uh, yeah, till the next time. Till the next Bye. Time.